Hey everyone, and welcome to the next episode of the Let's Build a Be Anime Invert in Planet Coast series, where today we're kind of going to be doing a bit of a different uh, thing here. You can see here that what I'm doing is I'm building a custom station for the ride, and that's because uh, this episode follows the release of the Invisible, I think it's called the Invisible Doodads mod for Planet Coaster, which is uh, in the Discord, which is linked in the description. You should totally join it and get this mod, it's brilliant. Um, and basically what this enables to do is it's hidden the station platform, it's hidden the air gates, it's hidden all of that. So basically you can make much more realistic sized stations now. Unfortunately the track length is still the same, so there's nothing we can do about that. So basically you can just see me adjusting the catwalks where we're going to be finishing them off next episode because this episode I mainly focus on doing the station, including the air gates, you know, the queue line and some of the foliage surrounding the ride. Now, this new invisible mod comes just at the perfect time as well because I was genuinely really lost about how I was going to do the station, but after this mod came out I realised I was going to do a really, really simple open top flight deck kind of station with you know short air gates um, a very tight station design so there's literally very little room um, it's very very compact it's very clean it's very small it fits very nicely and it just shows how big the stations in Planet Coaster are because I don't even think this is an air gate wide this platform I think what I've managed to do is fit a front row queue line and a regular you know cattle pen in for the normal air gates in the space that one uh, air gate in width would be, which just kind of shows how big the stations are in Planet Coaster. They just needed to condense them a tiny bit, <sighs> but unfortunately they're just massive. So as well as that, I've actually got the length of the station correct now so that the trains don't have um, about four meters either side of the front and back car in dead uh, space and track which is genuinely really annoying because stations are normally very compact. They very, they hug the train very tightly, so it's not wasting space. So, um, but in Planet Coaster, I think that's just been designed because every station's like, well, each station increment is four meters in length so that the building pieces will fit, which intuitively works very nicely. But when you want to build detailed stations, it can be a bit of a hassle. So I'm not actually sure the length of this, but it fits the train nicely. Um, I think there's a little bit of room in the front and that's just for the gate so it's got enough room to kind of you know move up and down without clipping anything but that's pretty much you know the only well it's not really an issue it's the only thing I just kind of help with it. so um, on the air gates there you can see I've put some electrical boxes to basically activate the air gates that I'm gonna put in next episode because this is probably gonna be the penultimate episode meaning the next week we're just gonna add the finishing touches to the ride sort of finish the foliage off, finish the trenches for the actual coaster, you know, put a few fences in at the plaza area, do a station, oh sorry, do a sign and, you know, fix the cow walks and then we'll call this thing quits and we'll finish it because it will be done then, meaning that we'll have our little invert series nice and nice and tidy, um, which comes at a great time because I'm here to announce, unbeknownst to anyone else, that I'm finally going to be putting some Port Ventura recreation content on the channel because... It's about time, and mainly because Brad or Theme Park Focus, you may know him as. Um, well, <laughs> he was like, "Can you take the channel, uh, the series of bits, my recordings off?" I was a bit dead, so you know, I'll pick it up, and we'll start putting some content on there. So I'm thinking next week's uh, episode, I may do. Um, well, I'm currently retracking Shambhala from four meter to one meter, so I could, and I've already done about half the layout, so I might pick up. And do an episode on that where we, you know, go back, do some custom like catwalks and stuff for it because there already are castle catwalks for it. But I figured out a way using one meter LSM pieces to get invisible, uh, you know, like a chain lift effect, like I did on Galactica, where I got rid of the um, chain lift and replaced it with an LSM that was at like 15 meters per second for six miles an hour. So, and it, I also did. Um, I think it was a dual speed, so it starts at 5 miles an hour and then speeds up to 8 as it climbs, which is really nice. That's a genuinely very nice effect to have on a uh, on the lift hill for the, uh, the, the hyper coaster even. So, that's really nice. I think it slows down at the top of the lift hill as well, so I may need to change that. But I'll play around with it because, well, now we have the possibilities. I may do that for Dragon Khan as well, which is just even more catwalk changing I need to do because I need to put... Well, I can't walk on both sides now instead of just one. 
But hey ho, that's a little bit of, um, you know, uh, what is that? What's, what's the word I'm thinking of? It's like, you know, touching up final details, really, really small nitpicky pieces that I need to finish, you know. But that's okay. So, yeah, that is the quick announcement. I'm going to be starting PA on the channel for for the first time. So, um, make sure you join the Discord server, which is linked down below for PA, so you can keep up with all the updates, because we've had quite a bit of progress recently on uh, Horican Condor, because our main man Dave has been doing that, and he's absolutely ridiculous, and you need to see it, and it, it's incredibly detailed. And uh, I think he's doing Temple del Fuego as well. It looks really, really good so far. So make sure to join it. It's linked in the description. Also join the Pineco modding server so you can get this and make invisible stations. Because I'm going to be using this to make uh, redo Dragon Khan station because it's very long. So I'm just going to uh, you know cut it down because the front's all right. Because the actual front of the station is quite long because um, the op cabin sits above the front of the train. So the train actually has quite a lot of dead space between it and the front of the uh, station. So we can, we can get away with that. But the seven car trains will finally fit much nicer in and I can do custom edits and stuff like that. So it'll be very nice basically. Um what are we doing here? Well yeah, in that time I suppose there you just saw me build the you know the, the entrance stairs, which is just proof that you don't need a massive path just to make an entrance. Like I've literally just built a quick stairway up to the uh, the air gates and I'm gonna do a very, very, very cattle penny queue line because this is just a very generic kind of invert coaster there. So I wanted to do, you know, back and forth, Cedar Fair, Six Flags, kind of Batman the Ride style air gates, you know, something that's very, very quick and cheap, but also looks clean. I think I, I think I ended up moving that because that's not clearance. Um, yeah, so for this section here, I'm going to do some quick, you know, Cedar Fair fences along the side um, that protect the riders from the um, from the ride, you know, the, the, the train that's going overhead out of the zero G roll because that's not going to make clearance. I don't want any issues with that, if I'm honest. Um, so I think I'll uh, I'll wrap up the speaking portion of the uh, the video now because well, there's not really much else to, to talk about really. Uh, cooking out some PA. Um, oh, I guess I could talk about the uh, whole quickly mentioned the situation with the UK at the moment. How we've just gone into another, I think month, uh, two or three months lockdown, meaning that I'm at home again. But I do have online lessons with college, so uh, my upload should be a little bit more consistent now. Or, 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 well, not like, you know, more consistent, but like I should be able to have more time to edit and make different kind of videos. So if you want to see more stuff, link it, link it? Comment it down below. Let me know what you guys want to see on the channel, because I'm open to some ideas. Um, and honestly, yeah, uh, I should have a little bit more free time now, because I don't have to worry about getting to and from, you know, and whatnot because stuff like that it's all done online now so I'm it's, it's all in the same setup so we can get all that sorted now so yeah um I think I'll leave wrap this up here and just let you guys enjoy the rest of the time lapse so thank you very much for watching uh stay tuned for you know more stuff that I'm gonna put out soon I wanted to thank you all amazing what what am I saying I wanted to thank you all for the amazing um reaching of 300 subscribers on the channel I think we hit that a few days after New Year's Day, or uh, a few days before it even, and it's honestly, um, it's honestly ridiculous, so thank you very much for that, like, <laughs> it's genuinely amazing, so thank you all for the support, and I'm just, I'm really glad you're enjoying the, 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 the stuff that I'm putting out, so, yeah, um, I'm gonna wrap this up, so I'll see you all, uh, next time with, uh, yeah, like PA, or I'm not sure what this week's video is gonna be, but after this is done, I'll make a cinematic video, we can put that out, and then it'll be great. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>